Hey, welcome to The Process. My name is Dr. John Bush. I want to thank everybody who's tuning in. I've actually got a hundred, went over a hundred uh, views in the last 28 days, according to my YouTube. Uh, I have uh, put my stuff on uh, scienceandfantasyfootball.com, but my repository is also the process on youtube and i'm making this uh just to show you where i'm at today june 6th uh is this d-day uh remember that i'm glad we're free to play fantasy football anyway uh, I've got some data on uh, ADPs of team wide receiver uh, crews and I'm starting to do some comparison. I thought I'd show you kind of some things that are going on here just kind of as a little treat for those who have joined the the show here. Thank you for listening. What you see here is uh, I looked at the latest uh, FFPC ADPs and pretty much grabbed the team QB ADP averages uh, for each team, 32 teams, and the distribution of the uh, ADPs are 29 to 39. That's 99% of the show. That's a box and whisker here. So there's the whiskers, 39, 29. That's the extremes. Uh, most of the quarterbacks are between 32 and 36. The average and median are around 34 average ADP. So this is the, the average range of uh, the ADPs here. And uh, this is not overall, this is uh, positional ADPs, right? It's not overall. Okay, so it's positional, I think. Let's see. So average of uh, positional ADPs, yeah. So if you have two quarterbacks on the uh, being tracked and FFPC does, then the if you average, uh, uh, you know, Mahomes and whoever's understudy, that that number is going to be skewed here. And I'm also interested in wide receivers. And here's that distribution. Uh, 7.5 ADP is a crew. Uh, that's probably Miami, right? Hill and Waddle. And I don't know who the third or fourth is. And 80. 80. So that's one of the worst crews. So I'm looking at team specific groupings here. And you can see since I've got quarterbacks and wide receivers, I got the metrics here. And so what do the metrics allow me to do? They allow me to do this. This is positional average of QBs and wide receivers. So I put them together and I show the how the boxes are with the lines. So this uh, blue diamonds are the quarterbacks and between the purple is the box and here are the outliers higher. So these are the weaker quarterbacks and then the blue diamonds. This is, I guess, Buffalo is the best, Kansas City and Mahomes' is understudy must suck. But anyway, there it is. And then here are the other ones, Jacksonville, Minnesota, surprisingly, Dallas, uh, Herbert, uh, you know, the Chargers. So you could see the better quarterbacks and the crews. And here are the worst. Let's see, the one of the worst is Tampa Bay. Nobody knows what's going to happen in Tampa Bay. So this is allows us to be concerned. Right? This allows us to be thoughtful about exactly what we're doing. The blue lines are the box for the wide receiver crews. And you can see Miami, Philly are the outliers in the best crew. The outliers are the worst or the Jets, I'm sorry, the Giants and Houston. So you got a problem there and maybe overselling there, don't know. 
but this allows you to figure out when you're dipping into the team crew wide receiver. This is probably past the WR1s here. This is getting deeper, right? This is a, a, a deeper, right? This is twos, probably even threes, fours. Just how deep do you want to go? How strong is that depth? And then finally, I don't know, silly me, it's like a view real quick a snapshot view of what the public is thinking june 6th right and i think this is really neat i'm gonna expand this to running backs and tight ends so you have an exact view of what the public is seeing as a group this is this landscape data here folks and you've got to be with the landscape data okay again the question I have is, you know, these sites you're paying for, why aren't they not telling you this stuff first? And then you get deeper. Trying to go bottom, you know, bottom up is tough. I like top down. You need to understand, right? Is this ground fertile? And then I'm going to start planting and digging. Not, I'm just going to go over here and dig around and hope that it's fertile. Uh-uh. This is my approach. This is my process. And you can see right away uh, the top teams that have the public loves both the crew and the quarterback. Cincinnati, Jacksonville, Minnesota, Dallas, Philly. There's the good. Now, look at Kansas City. Love my homes. Boy, they hate the crew. Look at that. So it tells me that uh, the public loves Mahomes because they got Kelsey. I just hope Kelsey is able to stay healthy because the public would tell you if Kelsey goes down, uh, you better be running and doing some other things. So that's a warning. Buffalo has a weak crew. I know Diggs is good, etc., etc. But the depth is a problem. Chargers, depth is a problem. Then you've got the next crew. Would you got uh, the yellow means kind of the average? Uh, this is the middle third here. Pie's not as sweet here, but it's not sour either with the quarterback. And you can see Seattle, Miami, San Francisco. They're all about the crew. They like yes, quarterback's okay. Crew is great. Here the opposite. Quarterback is okay. Crew is sucky. Look at this. So we got some issues here. So if you're digging deep and see Carolina, interesting, uh, Thielen, but after him, you've got some other folks. Public's not bought. They're not buying in on a lot of this stuff, right? Doesn't mean, <laughs> hey, doesn't mean, hey, doesn't mean you shouldn't draft in here. It just means... My dog is ready to draft in here. Uh, hey, French Bulldog. Uh, this means you need to do extra work, right? If nothing else, this is not, oh, I've got to do this, got to. Uh-uh. This is where should I put extra work? Where might be the sleepers? Where might be I could beat the public here? Well, if the public thinks it suck and you can pull a, you know, a pearl out of here, right? A uh, silk purse out of the pig stall here, then there you go. And here's average, average. Okay, and then here's the sucky quarterback, again, covered in the public, and Tampa Bay needs that quarterback. They're saying Goodwin and Evans, it's all about that strong crew, but the quarterback. So then you wonder, what does that mean? for Evans and Godwin if the quarterback sucks. Public's having some issues here, but they're, they they like the potential, but they're worried here. The opposite, Rams, Arizona, they're worried about Murray and his injury. Atlanta Ritter, uh, I know everybody's talking about uh, the rushing. I understand this is passing. And then New England, uh, this is the issues. Again, to me, I take this as an opportunity to get deep. 
okay, going to be doing a lot more stuff. Just kind of had to throw this out there. Uh, we love this goodness here. By the way, I got all the wide receivers. I, I cut the, the, uh, the, the data and the best, the middle, and the worst here. So I got that data. I'm, I'll put it up on the site. But I just wanted to take 10 minutes, throw this out for all you folks that have uh, been watching in honor of 100 views. I know a lot of so-called big sites, they got big views. By the way, I don't know why. They got better data than this? Come on, man. They don't. Okay. I'm delivering the goods. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. So this is good stuff. Uh, keep listening. Uh, Dennis has got good stuff. My partner, Science and Fantasy Football. This is all wonderful, special stuff. Come on back. I'm working on extra stuff. Should I show you some extra stuff? Uh-oh. Extra stuff here. What is this? Okay. Uh, we're having fun later. <laughs>